In this video, we are going to solve system of equations by the method of elimination. Now, system of equation, usually they have got several variables, two, three, four, and so on. So the, the method of elimination, what it does, it eliminates certain variables so that we end up with one equation, one variable, and then solve it. Now, before we start solving, let's consider three items. First, there are two operations that we can do to the equation of system without changing the solution. The first one is multiply an equation by a constant. Of course, when we do this, we don't change the solution of the original system. The second operation that we can do is to add or subtract or subtract two equations of the system again without changing the solution. So when we do when we apply these operations we obtain a new system that is easy to solve but it is equivalent to the first one. The equivalent means they have got the same solution. Now the third item we need to look at is x y the pair x y is a solution to the system of equation if it is if it satisfies both equations both equations so this is a solution if it sol satisfies satisfies both equation good now let's call this one equation one e one and this one equation two e two so let's start solving. Now before we start solving, let's look at uh, the uh, coefficient, the equation. Here we have x plus 2 equal to 4. Here we, know we have negative x plus 5y equal to 4. So x, if I add it to minus uh, to negative x, is going to give me 0. So I'm going to use the second item, the operation of adding, and I'm going to add the equations. Now, when we say adding the equation, we add them side by side. So I'm going to add this side with this side. x plus 3y plus negative x plus 5y. And then equal adding this side with this side. 4 plus 4. Simplify. I have x plus negative x that gives me 0x 3y plus 5y gives me 8y 4 plus 4 gives me 8 now 0x is 0 so I'm left with 8y equal to 8 divide by 8 to solve and that gives me y equal to 1 now we found only one variable we haven't finished we still need to find x I can use any of the equations, the first one or the second one. Let's use E1. So let's rewrite it here. X plus 3Y equal to 4. I substitute Y here. That gives me X plus 3 times 1 equal to 4. And simplify, of course. That gives me X equal 4 minus 3 equal to 1. So X equal to 1. And the formal, hang on, x equal to 1. And then the formal solution is written as follows. The pair x, y, the solution is 1, 1. Now, let's check. Let's check our solution. Let's check our answer if it's a good solution because it's very easy to make mistakes. We are human beings. Now, let's satisfy in the first equation. The first equation is x plus 3y equal to 4. The second equation is negative x plus 5y equal to 4. Now, how do we, che how do we check? It's, it's very simple. x equal to 1. I go here and I put x equal to 1. Plus 3y. y equal to 1. y is equal to 1. 3y. 
simplify it gives me four which is exactly what i have on the right side it's not finished we need to check both solutions but both equations let's check this one x equal to one so minus x plus five y uh, y equal to one we said So, 5y, y equal to 1. Simply, if I, it's negative 1 plus 5, this gives me 4. 4 is equal to the right side here. So, x, y, 1, 1, the solution 1, 1, satisfy both equations, and therefore is a solution of the system. Now, it's a good thing in mathematics to look at the concept or... Uh, skill in different ways now here what i did i have plotted the two equations given in the system of equation and what i see is that the point of intersection of the two lines is the solution of the system of equation yes this is the graphical interpretation of a system the point of intersection of the two lines is the solution and therefore we can also solve system of equations graphically just by plotting the equations and looking at the system, uh, looking at the point of intersection. Now let's look at example number two. Again, it's a system of equations, but this time when we look at the coefficient, they are completely different. 5x, 4x, 3y, 4y. Now, 5x of the first equation, 4x of the first equation. We need to multiply, you remember, we can multiply a whole equation by a constant. So if we want to eliminate um, uh, an unknown, we need to have the same coefficient. So we can multiply this by 4, this 4 here, and we can multiply this one by 5, 5 from here. Now when we do this, this will give me 20x, this will give me 20x and I can subtract them and then eliminate them. Of course, when we say multiply by 4, multiply by 5, we multiply the whole equation. So let's go and do it. So the new system of equation is, now let's call them equation 1, equation 2. So 4 times equation number 1. I take equation number one, I multiply all the terms by five, uh, sorry, by four. Four times five, 20x. Four times three, 12y. Four times negative 11, negative 44. Now I go to the second equation. The second equation we need to multiply by five. So, uh, here, it's, this is 5e2, and then I start, 5 times 4, 20x, plus 5 times uh, 4y, 20y, 5 negative 12, negative 60. And now, it's, it looks good, because we have 20x, 20x, if we subtract, we will get this. So, how do we subtract? We, we subtract this side from this side. 20x plus 12y. The top one minus the bottom one. Now, we need the bracket because of all these uh, negative signs. And then, negative 44, this one here, minus negative 60 and then we simplify as predicted 20x minus 20x will go 12y be careful minus 20 there is a minus here so 12 minus 20 that gives me negative minus 8y the other side now there is a minus here the other side is 60 minus 44 that gives me 16 now this is zero so negative eight negative equal to 16 divide by negative eight negative eight and that gives you y equal to 
negative two. So I find why I found uh, y. It's minus two. I go to any of these equations and substitute y by its value and find x. I will take this one. 5x plus 3y. 5x plus 3y equal negative 11. 3y. Good. 5x. 5x plus 3y equal negative 2. Okay, this y goes here. 11. Fi uh, 5x minus 6 equal negative 11. That gives me 5x equal negative 5. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. And that gives me x equal negative 1. So this is the value of x. Remember, when we solve, we find x and y, and we can write it as an ordered pair, negative 1, negative 2. This is x, y, remember. This is the solution. Now, let's put all this together, yeah? Let's understand what we are doing. We are given a system of equation. We multiplied the first equation by 4. We multiplied the second equation by 5 because we needed a common uh, coefficient for the x we could have done it for the y's by the way for the y's here so we could have multiplied by four and then three anyway let's continue now when we did this we obtain a new system remember these two systems are equivalent they have the same solution okay now when we did this we obtained very uh, uh, an equation that is very easy to solve an equation in y only we solved it here and then we found the x uh, thing so the main thing to retain from here is when you have got complicated coefficient multiply each one by the other coefficient now let's look at uh, example number three again it's a system of equation to solve now let's look at the in equation e1 let's call it e1 and e2 so let's examine the coefficient and we can see for example that this is a 2x this is minus x 4y minus 2y so there we have got two options either we multiply the second one e2 by 2 when we do this we will have 2x if we multiply this by 2 we will have 2x here negative 2x when we add them they subtract or the other option, yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same thing for 4y for and uh, negative 2y. So again, multiplying by 2, they will go. Okay, so we rewrite a, a new system with the 2x plus 4y equal to 3. No change here, but e2, we multiply it by 2. We will get negative 2x, negative 4y, and 10. Okay, multiply by 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 2. Now here it looks like if we add, so we are adding 2x plus 4y, the top one, we are adding the bottom one, negative 2x, negative 4y, and then uh, the right side is 3 plus 10. Simplify. 2x minus 2x, 0. 0 times x. 4y minus 4y gives me 0y. 13. Now, this side is all 0 equal to 13. There is a contradiction here. This is not possible. So, what is the conclusion? No solution. And that's it. We stop. Uh, this system of equation has no solution. We now try to interpret the, uh, interpret the results. Why there are no solutions? Now, here, what I have, I have graphed the first equation, E1, and then E2. And what we notice is the two lines are parallel. Parallel lines, they don't intersect, and therefore there is no solution. So two lines that are parallel with different 
uh, why intercept? They don't intersect and therefore they have no solution. Now, why the two lines are parallel is very simple. Let's go back to our equation and write this into y intercept form. So we solve for, for y equal negative 2x plus 3. We divide by 4, by 4, and by 4. And this gives me y equal negative half x plus 3 over 4. This is the slope of the line. Now let's go to the second one. Solve for y, negative 2y equal x plus 5. Divide by uh, negative 2. And that gives you y equal again, negative half x, negative 5 over 2. So the two lines, they've got equal slopes, different uh, y-intercept, and therefore they are parallel, and they, therefore they don't intersect, and that's why we have no solution. Now let's look at example number four. Again, we are going to solve a system of equation. This is equation one, this is equation two. Examine the coefficient. We have 2x here, we have negative x, so we need to multiply this by 2. Okay, so 2 times e1 will be here, will give uh, negative 2x plus 6y equal to 2. So multiply by 2, multiply by 2, and multiply by 2. Now the second equation. No change for the second equation, so we just rewrite it. 2x negative si minus 6y equal negative 2. And then we can add. And we can see that we have negative 2x plus 2x, 0 times x. 6y minus 6, uh, plus minus 6y, that gives me again 0 times y. And the other side gives me zero. Now, where is the solution? So this is like zero equal to zero, which is not a problem. It's not contradictory at all. So what we can do here is the following. So we simplify this to zero, and then we say, okay, zero y equal to zero. What are the solutions? Y equal to t, and t can be any real number. As simple as this. So t equal to 1, 2 equal to 2, t equal to 1 half, whatever real value. Good. So let's say y equal to t. Now let's solve and find x. Which equation do we use? Let's use this one here. It's very simple. Minus x plus 3y equal to 1. Substitute y by t minus, minus x plus 3t equal to 1. That gives me negative x equal neg minus 3t plus 1. And then multiply by minus 1 both sides. That will give me x equal 3t, uh, this plus 1, minus 1. Good. So how do we write our solution? So this is the x now. How do we write our solution? We write it like this. 3t minus 1 for x, t for y, t can be any real number. So it's an infinite number of solutions. How can I generate solutions? Let's take for example, t equal 1. If I put t equal 1 here, it will be 3 minus 1. That will give me 2 and then 1 here. And then you can go and substitute it into one of the equations and see that it's a solution. We can go and generate as many solutions as we want. t equal uh, negative 2, for example. Also give me another solution. So negative 2, negative 7, and negative 2 here. And uh, so on. So an infinite number of solutions. Now, now, let's have a look at the graphical interpretation of this case. 
Now, when I graphed the two lines, they gave me the two equations, they gave me the same line. The two equations are the same, they are equivalent. When we look at them, in fact, when we multiplied here by uh, this one by two, it gave me this. If I take this, this one, and I multiply it by minus one or this one, so if I do this, if I multiply this one by minus one, that will give me two x minus six y equal minus two, and then the second equation is the same. So, we were given these two equations, which they look different, but it's the same. Uh, it's the same equation, so it's like solving one equation with two variables, and we know that solving one equation with two variables, it's an infinite number of solutions. Now, let's put here an infinite number. Number of solutions. Yeah, when we solve, uh, I was saying that when we solve an equation with two variables, one equation, two variables, it gives you an infinite number of solutions, which are, in fact, the point on the line.